From the State Assembly Chambers, of course, a joint legislative session, State of the State with the Governor Walker. The main theme, obviously, jobs and, of course, a little bit about education. Let's find out what our local legislators in Rock County think about the Governor's address. That's why I've laid out five very clear priorities for the next two years. Create jobs, develop the workforce, transform education, reform government, and invest in our infrastructure. We're turning things around. We're heading in the right direction. We're moving Wisconsin forward. How do you think the governor did? Well, I, I think the speech was fine. You know, it, I think you could probably quote anyone in any caucus and get what the talking points are going to be. So we just had a rules thing that said we couldn't use any props in the assembly. And I noticed that maybe we use some props tonight. Well, when you say props, you mean people? Yeah, people. I think it was very personal. I thought he did great. I think he talked a little bit about the foundation that we've laid the last two years, but also alluded to some more, some more things that we work that we need to do. Well, um, our governor laid out what he's hoping to do during this next term, and I hope he's sincere about it because he covered a lot of territory that we know is genuine. We need the jobs, we need the training, we do have a skills gap we need to have addressed. Well, the state of the state is a, is a speech that's high on theatrics as it was tonight and low on details, and that's what I was looking for. And uh, I wanted to hear some things about uh, education uh, and the governor did touch on education but what he failed to talk about was is he going to restore the cuts of over a billion dollars the other thing that uh, I paid close attention to was did he give any hint that he was going to work together on any issues that uh, are coming down the pike and I didn't hear those words uh, working together still there's much more work to be done in the coming year our top priority is helping the people of our state create more jobs as you know, we have an ambitious goal, 250,000 jobs by 2015. Do you think 250,000 new jobs by 2015, is that achievable? I think we need to still set our goals high, just like with anything else. Um, you don't set the bar low, you set the bar high, and every job, as the governor said, every, every one job closer that we get to that goal is another family that's going to have an easier time making their bills and making plans for their future. Well, I think absolutely jobs are in, you know, the work. I'm on workforce development and small business, and, and during the campaign I always talked about how small businesses are truly, they are the backbone, you know, they are the greatest percentage of our businesses and, and the majority of employees. So I think anything we can do for small businesses will be well rewarded. I think it's going to be extremely difficult, it's been said before. I know our governor had stated that he had created about 100,000 jobs already in his two, first two years and uh, that's been refuted quite strongly. The number's more like 37,000. Well, I, I was surprised that he, he talked about it because he had flown Loaded some numbers out earlier in the month, and uh, they were deemed pants on fire lies uh, by Politifact. Uh, we're not on pace for that to happen. In fact, we are not where we need to be to attain that goal. So I have concerns, and, and once again, I need to have more details as to how we're going to get there. And really, my hope, as always, is that we work together in doing so. A mine would be a lifeline to people in northwestern Wisconsin, where the unemployment rate in Iron County is the second highest in the state at nearly 12 percent. But the benefits would be felt all across Wisconsin. Any contention expected when it comes to the mining bill, when it comes to performance, pay for teachers, things like that, do you expect any uh, conflict in the assembly? I think when we get to the mining bill, I'd like to, I'd like to think that we would get uh, most Democrats to come on board and support the final bill. We'll see what it looks like. You can, you can uh, uh, you know, disagree and it doesn't have to be contentious. Obviously, I think that on the mining bill, if, if they bring back the exact same assembly bill that was put forward last year, that it will, um, there will be con some concerns. With the mining, I do have serious concerns because jobs will not be created in a year or two. It's going to be a much longer process than that. And um, I'm hearing seven years is the average that it will take by the time the mine's permitted. I heard some plans uh, on the mining bill. Uh, I have a question on that too. Which mining bill is the governor referring to? Uh, because we're going to have two products out there. Senator Cullen is going to have a version of the mining bill as well as uh, the mining bill from last time. And if it's that one, uh, I voted against it last time because it just uh, didn't take into account many things and one including the environment. Now part of the long-term strategy to develop our workforce 
is to continue to transform education in our state. Going forward, our educational efforts must be focused on performance. We now can put the best and the brightest in our classrooms, and we can pay them to stay there. We finally have a way to recognize our exceptional teachers and reward them for the good work they do with our children. Well, I just want to say that um, I think that we have had the, some of the best and the brightest teaching in our school systems already. So um, I appreciate all their service that we've had in our, in our district with teachers. And the performance pay for teachers, that's something that, I mean, we did talk about that last year, and I know I've spoken to, to teachers and, and educators and board, school board members in the district, and I think now that they're sort of understanding what that might look like as far as it's not, we're not trying to compare apples to apples, we're trying to, to measure improvement, not overall performance. So we're, we're trying to take into consideration there are a lot of variables, but at the same time being able to reward good work. I'm not real familiar with how schools give their performance awards right now. This is something that's new. I'm not really sure how it's going to work. Every school will be doing it on their own uh, process at this point since there are no labor contracts involved. So I'm not really sure how that's going to work out. With bold vision and bright hope for the future, we are turning things around. We are heading in the right direction. We are moving Wisconsin forward. Anything else you want to cover? Um, you know, I hopefully that uh, we will be moving forward with the technical skills to close our skills gap. I've mentioned that before. Still feel very strongly about it. And in my district in the city of Beloit, they are doing something about it at the high school level even. I'm excited about workforce. I'm glad he brought up the labor, um, the labor market data and how important that is and, and how important workforce development and, and initiatives related to that is going to be. And, um, and hopefully my committee can be a part of that. I hope we can still get back to debating some of these things instead of ram and jam and uh, as a part of the minority party I'm hoping we're more than just a potted plant this session. So when it comes to the state of this state our local legislators are optimistic and hopeful but still a lot of questions remain particularly apparently along party lines. For Local Vision TV News I'm Stan Stricker.